Well, I just thought I'd uh, show you the actual uh, motor running. I put it back together while I was winding the coils, taking a break, and there is the thing running. It's running a little different than it was before I took it apart. It's running a little faster now and actually putting out quite a bit more juice, um, which is interesting, but, you know, there it is running. Um, you know, you, uh, obviously the coil here is quite a bit different than, uh, when I'm, when I just wound, which is this one, and put it in here without dropping it or anything, so, you know, this is the one I just wound and I'm playing with it, but, uh, nevertheless, there it is running. I can make the thing spin extremely fast if I didn't have all the resistance on it and stuff. So, uh, there it's charging, and right now I'm doing it in charging mode using the basic Benini circuit, uh, except that I'm using the Darlington arrangement on the transistors. Uh, otherwise, it's just standard stuff. Let me, uh, pan up and show you that uh, right now I'm running it off of a PC power supply because I've discharged all my other batteries playing with um, actually recovering old batteries which I think I have uh, almost completely done on this one here it, I've got it at about almost 12 volts uh, it used to be down around 4 or 5 volts. Uh, the battery backup said it wasn't chargeable anymore. Uh, I'm not sure about the other three. They might not be recoverable at all, but we'll find out. This one's a brand new one. Just recharging that one. Um, so I'm just using the uh, power supply to make it happen quick. Or, you know, without depleting anything and still experimenting around with everything there's my little uh, setup you know big old resistor array because I keep burning out uh, my high K pots so I gotta find some higher watt ones somewhere because I keep burning them out <laughs> anyway so that's kind of the arrangement just wanted to show it to you and give you a little close up of this guy as much as I can here uh, in fact I'll stop it play with it here for a little bit uh, stall the thing let me back back out I'll show you what I got going on uh, basically I've glued on uh, four magnets directly onto the disc and then I just have another four stuck on there magnetically and they haven't spun off on slower speeds they might spin off on high speed but maybe not anyway uh, I've already had problems with that and I'm being conservative at this point because I don't want to lose any more magnets so there's the deal let me show you right now after I reset it back up I gotta spin it a little harder to get it going earlier it was a lot easier to get going so I probably have to tune it back up again whatever but there's the deal um, I mean I I think uh, this is a it, basically it's a great bearing that you're using uh, that's meant to spin fast as long as you balance everything uh, things should be pretty cool so that's the deal all right see ya